Good, good morning everyone. Actually, pinilit na lang akong pumunta dito. Anyway, our speaker for our talk, Growing in Relationship with the Lord, has been a member since 1990, a graduate of BCLP 16 of the Quezon City Chapter. At present, he is an AGL, member of the Hong Kong Mission Team, and Mission Coordinator of the Metro Manila North Sector. Um, his past services are being our, our RCD, Chapter Head, Mission Director, Unit Leader, Chapter Treasurer, AGL, DGL, ABGL, and Breakfast Member. Hindi ka lang naging Breakfast Head. <laughs> he is a CPA lawyer by profession, partner and head of tax at SGB and Company, married to our sister Susan, and father to four boys. Lamang lang ako sa kanya ng isang boy. Let us all welcome Attorney Luis Ferrer. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, well, they say that uh, a journey of a thousand miles uh, starts with the first step. And uh, your baptism in the Holy Spirit last week was a beginning of uh, a new life uh, for you. And uh, the same way with us. No? And uh, it's not a, uh, it does not end there. Uh, as we said, it's, it's, it's a long journey. And uh, in order for us to uh, for for us to grow in uh, spirit, uh, there are certain practices that uh, we need to do, and uh, and it has to be done uh, regularly, consciously, and uh, of course uh, deliberately. Uh, with the help of the Holy Spirit, uh, we will be able to do it as long as we commit to. Uh, this uh, practices, then uh, of course uh, we'll grow in uh, the spirit. The same way that uh, we were in the past, no? uh, we started uh, likewise with a BCLP and move on to uh, to this uh, to this time uh, where we where we are. Uh, as I, as uh, pointed out earlier. Uh, our own BCLP was way back in 1990, so it's uh, what, 28 years already by this time, and probably more years than some of you. Uh, anyway, so uh, the way we grow in the in the spirit is uh, if we are to liken our uh, our Christian life to a wheel, no? it's a, it's a wheel. And uh, the uh, Christian life is the outer ring, uh, which is the, the, the place where we are, where we find ourselves in uh, either in profession, in family life, and uh, what have you. And uh, the, the, cent the center of the wheel is uh, the one that gives the, the, direction, the power as well as the direction in our life, Christian life. And uh, this is the this is, of course, uh, Jesus Christ. And uh, for the power of the Holy Spirit to transmit to our Christian life, meaning in order that uh, power, in order that direction in life will be provided to us, then uh, there are several spokes uh, which will transmit the power of the Holy Spirit from Christ to our own daily lives. And uh, these are prayer, Study, service, sacrament, and uh, community life. Prayer is uh, essentially uh, the main, uh, the main and primary uh, means uh, by which we get to know the Lord more. No, so uh, this part with a prayer uh, means that uh, we establish a relationship 
with the Lord. So this is the primary means by which uh, we establish relationship with the Lord. And uh, just like in any relationship, uh, we have to spend time. No? We have to spend time in prayer or spend time with the person that we love no? to, to be able to grow in that uh, relationship. Uh, when we find a person who we uh, think we will be in it, it for, probably with your, with your, for those who are married, when you found the love of your life, it, and uh, we all, always want to be with a person, we spend time with a person to get to know him better, him or her better. And uh, what's, what's, different is, what, what's different is that uh, as you grow, as you grow to know the person more, it's either that uh, you love him more or uh, your love diminishes because as realities come to, come to life, then uh, probably it's either, you know, uh, you find the good things that you are looking for and then, uh, of course, with that, you grow more in love with, per with that person. But if you find other things that you don't like, then uh, somehow, uh, that relationship may not uh, prosper, no? because you get to know the realities. But uh, with the relationship with the Lord, it cannot go wrong. The more you, you know Him, the more you spend time with Him, the more that you know that uh, it's all good, and uh, the more that uh, you, may, you want to love Him more, and you want to be closer to Him. And uh, that's why, uh, uh, as, as you move along and get to, me, to know him better and uh, all the things that probably you have wanted in life you will find in him and uh, therefore you grow in love more and more with the Lord because unlike in a relationship with an with a, with a individual probably it may turn some other way, no? but uh, with the Lord cannot go wrong. The more you know Him, the more, the more you will get to love Him. And, uh, but then, uh, to develop a successful prayer life, one, you have to be you have to be faithful in your prayer. So, not only, so you have to decide on your prayer time. So, your prayer time may be uh, for some, uh, for the early risers, like the uh, more senior citizens, no? uh, so the best time probably to pray is uh, upon waking up, because when everybody is still asleep, there's peace and quiet. Then, uh, of course, uh, you have find uh, you have you can find time with the Lord, and uh, there's no distraction. You know? For some, uh, probably you may be late risers. And uh, you may find it uh, ideal to pray before going to sleep at night. So you have to have to find a time where you think you can best relate to the Lord and listen to Him. So bawat isa will have their own time, no? uh, kanya kanya prepared time. But what is important is you commit to the time. In time na yun, you commit uh, and, uh, on a regular basis, on a daily basis, to be there uh, at that time. And again, uh, just like in any relationship, ganun din, di ba? We, uh, at a certain time, you really decide that every Friday, probably, you'll have a date with the person that you love, or uh, every uh, 8 o'clock, in the evening, you have to call the person and talk to the person. So you do that in a regular basis. Just like uh, in a prayer time, you commit to a certain time uh, where you can communicate with the Lord. And you decide the, where is the proper place for you to be that, in that uh, kind of uh, environment where it's quiet, there's no distraction. So some would do it in the room. Some will do it in their, uh, if you have a prayer room in your house, then uh, so be it. Some would prefer to be in a garden. So, likewise, uh, you decide a place where you have that quiet time with the Lord. A specific time, a specific place where you have to have that time. 
And, of course, uh, you have to also to decide on how. Uh, for you, uh, when you are new in uh, the community, uh, it may be good to have a, a certain pattern of our prayers. And uh, as you can see, uh, in the beginning of this uh, session, you have the, already the pattern of the prayer that we do in the BCDP. So, we, we call it actually uh, ACTS, A-C-T-S. The A is application. We start first with uh, praise and worship of the Lord. We worship you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. You are our Lord, you are our God, you are our King and Savior. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's the first part of the prayer. And uh, second is, uh, what you call it, the C stands for uh, confession or contrition. So, of course, uh, we, uh, we ask for some, uh, for mercy of the Lord for our shortcomings. Uh, we ask for uh, forgiveness for the wrongs that we have done. We also ask for understanding from the Lord for our weaknesses and our shortcomings. We also ask the Lord for understanding that uh, for our failure to do the good that we are meant to do. No? So it's not just uh, in, uh, in uh, offending the Lord or hurting someone, but uh, we also ask for forgiveness for the good that we should have done but failed to do. So that's the C. And then the T is uh, represents thanksgiving. So that's the time we, you see that uh, we thank the Lord for all the blessings that uh, He has showered upon us. And it can be small things, big things, but uh, there's always a reason to, uh, to thank the Lord. The, the fact that we are alive is a good reason enough for us to be thankful. The, the fact that, uh, you know, we have a uh, uh, a happy, merry life, and we have uh, good children are all reasons to be to, to thank the Lord for. Big and small, we thank the Lord for everything that we have. Because everything comes from Him. All good things come from Him. And He deserves all the thanksgiving uh, that He deserves. And then uh, the, the S represents the supplication. That's a time that we uh, petition the Lord for for everything that is bothering us, for our concerns, for our needs, for our for whatever, uh, whatever it is that uh, we would like to pray for and ask the Lord. So initially uh, when we were starting some prayer, uh, the prayers natin are always sinasabi nila healing, healing prayers, no? Healing. We always ask for something from the Lord. You know, laging pinipray natin na uh, I get this uh, bonus, I get this contract, uh, eh, some, of course, kumama sa loto and everything. So, yung mga prayers natin, hinihiling, or sometimes we are physically challenged, we ask the Lord to heal us. No? Or, Lord, pag-ihiling mo mo. So, all these things. Now, in, we even ask, of course, material things. So, initially, ganun ang prayer natin. But, uh, as you grow on, uh, grow, there's nothing wrong with that. No? There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Because it shows that, uh, you know, uh, that uh, we know that uh, whatever we have comes from the Lord. So, it's, it's a recognition and affirmation that everything comes from Him. That's why we go to Him and ask for those prayers. No? And uh, before that, when I, when I was in the brotherhood, I was... Uh, I'm kind of uh, bothered by if I could pray na sana, sabi nila, makakuha ko ng party. Sabi ko, you know, small things na sana mahanap ko na inahanap ko na something na nawawala. Initially, I thought na napaka-pwede naman ito. No? Parang, uh, bakit you do, do, why do you have to bother the Lord for those things? No? So, parang, uh, you, you, I'm thinking ko lang is this, uh, you know, you, you reserve the Lord for all the good things, no? the great things that you, you want to have, no? not for those small things. Tayo nang bahala doon, huwag na natin abalahin yung Diyos. No? Uh, but then, uh, later on, as uh, I draw deeper into the relationship with Him, uh, actually the Lord wants us to, you know, you know to ask Him for everything. No? To trust Him with us, with even the smallest things that uh, we desire, uh, we want. Because uh, actually, uh, yung faith is uh, starts with small things. No? Sometimes we, nakita mo na the Lord is very responsive to your small request, and it 
Ganun naman tayo, di ba? If you can be trusted with small things, if you can trust the Lord with small things, the more you get to know and realize and accept that if you can, he, he can be trusted with small things, then He can be trusted with all the bigger things in life. So, and then the more confident we also become, no? Kasi kung small things, naman, totoo nga pala, uh, naghahanap ka ng party, hindi lang somebody will, uh, will leave the place and then they got, may, ma, may mapaparking ka. So, you are, you, you are even surprised yourself, no? And uh, because of that, uh, sige, next time subukan ko naman na uh, probably hindi lang yung parking space pa rin pa, I can have a new car. <laughs> Parang, so, and then, probably, hindi lang mong nangyari na naman. So, ba? Talagang uh, the Lord can be trusted. And you grow in confidence in your relationship with the Lord. And, uh, kayon, uh, so, there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, with the healing prayers, healing prayers, and even asking for the smallest things because it represents your the condition of your heart the condition of your mind that uh, you place everything in the Lord's hands that you trust Him with everything and the Lord accepts that so, diba? Gusto niya yun, na we, we trust Him with everything and then uh, of course uh, as you grow in uh, the maturity in prayer sometimes uh, Gagawin na lang is in the sin in your prayer room or in, a, in, the, in the church or in your garden and say, Lord, here I am. But what do you want? What, what is it that you want to tell me today? So even silence is a form of prayer. You just sit there and try to feel and uh, see what the Lord has for you for the day in terms of a message. Something will come up in your mind. Ah, Ganito. And suddenly, you know that uh, you have a solution to a problem. Probably you're looking for a solution to a problem. Sometimes you are asking for something. And suddenly, in your quiet time with the Lord, in your in the place where you have decided to pray, with to, to meet Him, in the time that you have decided to meet Him, then uh, you will hear His words in your mind. So, not you will hear something from somewhere saying something to you, but uh, it's something that uh, it is in your mind. Ganon din ako dati, because in the, sometimes in the, when you attend uh, assemblies, chapter assemblies, uh, a brother or a sister will come forward and say, the Lord has told me to tell this to you. Nung dati, sabi ko, ano naman niya naalaman na the Lord is... Uh, that uh, the Lord is uh, talking to him, saying that to him, saying that. Parang, sabi ko, paano kaya yun, di ba? <laughs> But we are starting it. And uh, we say that, uh, you know, sana ganun din, that the Lord will also talk to me. Di ba? And uh, something that uh, you aspire for, that the Lord will be talking to you. Uh, not, not necessarily talking to you, hear some voice when you are praying. But uh, it, it's something that, uh, that comes into the mind, you know? And uh, sabi ko, sabi ko nun, sana gabaling yun din, malaman ko yung sinasabi ng Diyos sa akin. Because uh, if it is coming from the Lord, then how can you go wrong? Di ba? Di ba? So, so as we go in, uh, in, in the relationship with the Lord, then uh, it will come to the point that you know that the Lord is talking to you. It's either He will lead you to a reading in the Bible, He will, he will lead you to meet a person who will say something to you. Or He will put you in a situation that uh, you know that it is from Him. So it's, it's that, uh, as you know, diba, uh, in any relationship, pag yung magpatagal na mag-asawa, diba, parang isang kidnap lang sa'yo, alam na lang yung mga lalaki, diba? pag tinig na ng asawa, alam na, dapat tumahilig na sila. Diba? Mga ganun tipo ba, na isang tingin lang, Uh, alam mo na na dapat uh, magdala ka sa tingin, di ba? So, nagkakaintindihan na ka agad, di ba? Ganon in any relationship, kung masyado na kayong close, di ba? Counting nung ano lang, alam mo na kung nag-ibig sa death, counting body language lang, no words need to be spoken, di ba? Alam na nila kung anong gagawin. Eh, magandang training yan sa mga husband, di ba? Pag yung mga wife, nag-train na mabuti yung asawa nila, napaka-effective. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, ganun, di ba? You can uh, easily, ganun din ang relationship with the Lord. No? Parang, you will know that uh, He's talking to you and He's leading you to something, to do something, through scriptures, to, to something that comes to your mind, through a person who meets, who you meet in a day. And, uh, so, you, you, you go into that. You, 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 you have that kind of knowing and uh, feeling that uh, the Lord is talking to you. That's, that's a prayer. So, and uh, of course, uh, as I said, the, the relationship is not about your prayer. It's really about your relationship with the Lord. The deeper it is, the more that you are in tune to His uh, purpose. I mean, purpose to go sa buhay. And uh, that, that's why they said that uh, sinasabi nila na there are only two, two days that you have to remember in your life. No? One is the date of your birth and the second one is the day that you have no, you know your purpose in life. Alam mo na clearly na ito yung purpose ko sa buhay. And uh, with that, uh, of course, uh, some people uh, live throughout the life, their lives not knowing their purpose in life. But each one of us has its unique purpose, own unique purpose. Not for him, not for you, but uh, specifically for you. You have a purpose in life. You are not here for nothing. You are here to do something. You are holding to the Lord's plan. And uh, in prayer, that's uh, we get to that point that we know our purpose in life. The closer that we are to the Lord. So the second one is study. Uh, study means that uh, we have to uh, know and to live our lives according to our faith. You know? uh, sadly, this is one of the big, the biggest gap in uh, most the life in most for us most uh, Filipinos, no? Because uh, there's a big gap between our faith, what we put, that we profess to be, and the actions that we do, the way we live our life. Right. Kasi nga, time and again, we are the only Christian nation in the, in the, in the Asia, predominantly, predominantly Christian nation in Asia. We're the only one, and yet, diba, uh, we, we rank the highest in corruption, no? in, uh, killings, and all these things. No? And, uh, so where is that uh, Christian supposedly na, na tag natin? No? Nasaan na yun? Diba? Nasaan, bakit gano'n na uh, our life, the way we live our life, the way our country is, and then we profess to be a Christian nation. Diba? But nasaan yun? Ba? Parang hindi nakikita na reflect sa buhay natin, hindi na reflect uh, sa ating mga relationship. Diba? Kasi uh, if I may uh, uh, quote proudly, and uh, yung sinasabi nga nila, one, ta- one time si Mahatma Gandhi, sa mo si Eddie, he is of course not a Catholic. He was uh, asked what is the greatest religion on earth. And uh, he answered, it's uh, Christianity. It's the greatest religion on earth. And uh, when asked uh, further what he considers to be the greatest strength of Christianity, and he said, uh, it's Jesus Christ. Yun ang pinaka-strike ng Christianity is Jesus Christ. And uh, when asked further what he considers to be the weakness of Christianity, and he said, uh, Christians. So, that's the point, no? Uh, our, our Christian faith is not reflected in our lives, the way we live it. And in DCBP, that's our aspiration, that uh, the life that we live is uh, consistent with the, the faith that we profess. And we do that uh, to study. Ano ba dapat, no? And uh, we, we, we do uh, learn a lot from reading the Bible. Tayo rin, di ba, mga Catholic, we're not very 
train dun sa reading ng Bible. It is only when we go to a Catholic school or we join the BCBP that we really get that habit of reading the Bible. But yung mga uh, other Christians, uh, they're very well versed in the Bible. Kaya when, uh, when, we are, when they argue with us, citing verses and so, so and so, and so and so, in support of their argument, wala tayong masabi, di ba? Hindi natin alam na hindi iba na pala nila. O yung mga, in, may mga inuubit na certain uh, phrases or words that make things different. So, learn to really read the Bible on a daily basis. And in fact, uh, part of your commitment when you commit to the PCBP way of life is to read the Bible, uh, the scriptures daily for at least 15 minutes. So because uh, that's the foundation of everything that we stand for. The word of the, the, the Lord is in the Bible. And uh, we, of course, we read spiritual read, uh, magazines and so on. Uh, before I used to be very, I read a lot no? uh, on mga technical things. And uh, yung mga kung leisurely, I would read yung mga, mga classic mga books and uh, yung mga thrillers, no? mga thrillers. I can read that over one day or one night. Walang tulugan. But, you know, uh, as, we, as I joined the Brotherhood, uh, I learned to appreciate more reading about the lives of saints. No? In yung mga real stories, the uh, struggles, and uh, the, of course, the, the, the sacrifices that they make uh, for the religion, for the faith that we have. And uh, sometimes, medyo yung lighter reading, uh, I find yung kirigma is uh, very light in reading. Yung mga books ni Paul Sanchez, very light reading, but uh, full of wisdom. And sometimes, uh, also yung humorous. Diba? Sometimes kasi ayaw mo na magbasa ng mga heavy things. So yan, yung mga books ni uh, Dumbo Sanchez, uh, very light reading, yung kirigma, very light reading. Uh, but of course, it's full of uh, message and uh, the, we can pick a lot of things uh, about our faith. And uh, we can also uh, listen and uh, during the, talk, the talks, that we have in the BCPB, we have a lot of them. So you try to pick up something, you know, in every every session that you attend, you try to take home one little one learning in that uh, in that session. And hindi na kailangan I think that mo lang, but just pick one learning. And the same way do the homilies, no? Then please, kasi ayaw na ayaw niyo para rin ayon, para ayaw mo ng pakinggan. But uh, when we attend the Mass, try to, uh, no matter who is the main messenger that the Lord has, uh, has asked to make that message to the homily or to the priest, then uh, just pick up one thing, one thing that uh, you can take out when uh, you go out of the church, that the Lord has saying something to you. And uh, over the years that, you know, uh, you will learn to appreciate the word of the Lord, uh, no matter who is the messenger. Diba? Sometimes kasi pinipili talaga natin yung ganito. But of course, uh, it doesn't matter who the messenger is, but it helps a lot. Okay, magaling yung messenger. But uh, we have to focus on the Lord, the, 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 word of, the Word of the Lord. And no matter what that person is speaking, uh, the Word of the Lord's uh, message. So, it may not be done very well according to our standards, but then, nonetheless, he has a message from the Lord. And probably that will uh, make you stay, no matter who is, who is the, the, in the church, no matter who is delivering the message. Just speak one word each time. And over time, you learn that, uh, you learn a lot. So another way of uh, transmitting the power of the, of the Lord to our life is uh, through service. So as I said, uh, Words are cheap, no? Uh, we may praise and glorify Him in public, in some corners, in the uh, streets, and uh, proclaim Him in the uh, assemblies. But if you do not live the life uh, as a good example, then uh, that's nothing, you know? So the, the, the strongest message that you do is the way you live your life. Sabi nga ni Mother Teresa, live your life and it needed then preach. So, it's then, uh, 
the best preaching that you do is by the way you live your life. The way you model as a Christian rather than what you say. Kung kailangan daw, then magsalita ka. Pero the, the message is, should be that uh, first and foremost, it is the way you live your life. So uh, that's the best example. And whether in the office or outside the office, be consistent. No? Consistency. No? Iba ka dito sa, pag nandito ka sa community, sa BCP, sa assembly, ayun, ganaan mo ha? Very nice person. No? Pag natin sa kusina, napakasuhin na tao. Diba? <laughs> Kaya nasa simbahan, very pious. Pag natin sa bahay, kung magkano ng mga kasambahay, patindi. No? So, ako nahirapan din ako dahil, no? na ibig sabihin nung when I was first invited to the BCP, somebody was inviting me. Pero, when I look at her life, parang sabi ko, ba't yan bang sasalihan, sasalihan ko na itong BBB? Ganyan ng ganyan ang mga tao. Parang, so, parang naging judgmental. It's of course not to write also, but uh, the, a person does not make the community. Di ba? It does not make. A, a, a person, we are all humans. Di ba? In the same way that priests, some, some priests may be like that, but then it does not make the church. But no? it's uh, still the church is the church. So, ganun yung ano, yung ganun yung, yung initial lang natin, parang impression natin. Eh. Parang ayaw natin sumali kasi yung tako na yun, na nag-iibita sa atin, eh, hindi yung somebody you look up to. So, as I said, uh, again, uh, the, the, the basic service that we do to the Lord is uh, living his, his, his life the way He intended us to be. And uh, we also, of course, uh, perform or serve the Lord by being good in the, in, the, in, the, in the position that has been given to us. No, as a father, as a mother, you have to be good as a father, as a mother, as a spouse to your spouse, to your husband, a wife to your, uh, a wife to your, to your spouse, as a parent. Then, yun yung nakikita. And then, as I said, the children uh, are very, are very uh, impressionist, no? Kahit anong sabihin mo, kung iba yung ginagawa mo, hindi ka susundin. Di ba? Kung sabihin mong ganito, nang ganito ka nang sabi, no? wala pa hindi ganyan, o no? kung teenager na anak mo, o huwag kang magsisigarilyo, pero ikaw naman magsisigarilyo, di ba? How can you, how can you say that, no? How can you be convince your child that, uh, or your, your 10-age son not to smoke, di ba? So, ganun ang lang natin. So, we, we, we first, before we say something and try to preach something, we have to, you know, look at ourselves and uh, uh, be that kind of person that you want others to be, no? So, di ba? Hindi ka, you cannot, you cannot really communicate something that you don't have. It will fall uh, hollow and uh, you will appear to be a hypocrite. Di ba? Kasi, nagpipitch ka ng something but you do not walk your talk. Di ba? Sinasabi na rin, you don't walk your talk. Di ba? So, walk your talk. So, be a good father, be a good, be a good husband or wife, be a good uh, employer or employee, and uh, that's in that way we 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 do our service. And uh, in, in my in my work, uh, for example, uh, I'm a uh, uh, tax lawyer. So of course uh, we deal uh, a lot with uh, with the BIR, and of course uh, you know uh, in in those uh, discussions, uh, of course they come, from time to time they come out those. Uh, mga indecent proposals, no? uh, parang mga inappropriate payments, and then uh, sa sapagin din, pag gano'n ang ano, approach, sabi niya, sinasabi ko sa akin lang, so, uh, bro, hindi ka, hindi, 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 bawal sa religion namin yan. Sabi ko gano'n. And then, sasabihin niya, bakit? Born again ka ba? So, look at the end, parang, bakit yung born again ba? Angest, tapino? Pero yung katolik ko, hindi. Kasi ka na lang ang tanong niya, eh, parang 
pag sinabi mong uh, yun nga, isa na sabi mo na well, uh, hindi, hindi pwede sa religion namin eh, iniisip nila other than a Catholic no? di ba, kaya sasabing iglesia ka ba? bakit? hindi na ba hindi nila ginagawa yun? tayo pa mga Catholic kasi nang ginagawa namin kasi ganun din siya, di ba? so, parang iba, iba ang tingin, di ba? parang bakit ganun? di ba? We're supposed to be uh, uh, everything uh, and we claim that all those other religions from uh, ang source tayo ang true religion, which is Catholic, di ba? But then, bakit ganun yung uh, ang impression? No? Ang impression natin. So, again, uh, as I said, uh, the best way to serve the Lord is uh, really to live the life that the Lord has meant it to be. And, uh, There are many opportunities for us. As I said, uh, daily, we are in the marketplace. Kaya tayo ang karisam natin sa marketplace. There are so many opportunities to, uh, for us to show that we are good Catholic Christians. Diba? We are good Catholics. No? Some many opportunities that we face every day diba? in our work. When we, we attend to somebody, no? uh, we try to... You know, that's why ako, I, I find it very... If I'm feeling down or not so feeling that so feeling well for good, uh, the best therapy for me is uh, I have to do something good. Kind how small, you know, how small. Before when I used to, you know, uh, write this uh, the kind of when I so much kind of as an artist, a public transport, you feel bad about the work. So giving a seat to somebody else elderly or women or those with children, yes, it makes you feel good. Sometimes, nakakalibot ay yung problema. No, no, parang nawabawasan. So, some, doing something good is something that uh, uh, an opportunity that is always given to us day in and day out in our work. In the, in, in the way we, in our household, when we deal with our households. No? So, and then opportunity and take that opportunity to do something good for someone. Diba? And uh, we also, of course, uh, serve the Lord by sharing our faith. Marami sa atin, sa atin, sa atin uh, even up to now, especially you, when you are new, dito ka sa office nyo, then uh, you will need to be a secret uh, BCDP member. Or you know, secret Christian. No? Parang hindi mo sinasabi na Ayaw mo sabihin na ako, ganito, uh, I, uh, I'm now a renewed Christian. Parang sa atin na uh, uh, remain to be that, uh, a secret Christian. We don't really profess it. No? Kasi actually, I, what I find very useful, especially uh, ako, I, I'm siyempre sa mga lawyers especially. No? Parang napaka, hindi, parang hindi, hindi macho yung uh, parang sasabihin mo na praise the Lord ka, di ba? <laughs> Ang hirap-hirap yan, di ba? And uh, that's why, but then, uh, of course, uh, in the office, uh, I, I work with lawyers. No? So, and then, uh, of course, sasabihin ko before the meeting that we have to pray. And then, uh, initially, sabi, uh, ano ba ito, joke? Di ba? But then, uh, of course, when you insist it that you're serious, then you like to, you know, uh, we start a meeting with a prayer. And, uh, and sometimes, of course, siyempre, pag mga, especially if you are with deep, mga lalaki, siyempre, mga lalaki, they have their things, no? Uh, mga lakad, uh, punta mo saan, punta dito, punta doon, no? Mga, mga boys, uh, boys, uh, boys club, no? Mga, so, again, uh, you know, uh, when you join the BCBP, you know that life would be different, no? And then, uh, Of course, uh, if you don't profess it among your friends that, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a big BCDP member, hindi na po, hindi na pwede na dyan sa dati natin pinupuntahan, mga, mga bagay-bagay na ginagawa, and then you profess it, no? Kasi kung hindi mo sasabihin, then uh, they will uh, treat you just like them, no? Sabihin na, uh, o oh, sama ka dito, punta tayo dito. Siyempre, ang hirap mag-resist. Kasi hindi naman nila alam na ito ay ganito na. So, but when you pronounce it and proclaim it to others, then uh, yung mga lakad na gano'n, alam mo, uh, sasabihin na na, ay, si, si, si Louie, hindi pwede dyan. 
alam na nila. So they, they keep that distance. So hindi ka na natin Or you are not, no longer forced to join them. Diba? So you proclaim it. No? Uh, that's, uh, you claim that uh, uh, the Lord is your new Lord, master of your life. And uh, you want to live the way He wanted you to be. So that lessens actually the temptation of people uh, actually having uh, to invite you to those uh, places or uh, those uh, mga in, uh, inappropriate uh, mga transactions. No? So yeah, you know, service natin, no? And uh, and in the BCBP, as uh, you go on the BCBP, you are, there will be a lot of services that are made available to you. It's uh, it can be in the breakfast. Uh, Everywhere, no? And uh, one thing that impressed me uh, when I noted in the BCBP, uh, you would have, you would see people, uh, brothers and sisters, who probably uh, in their offices are being served by a lot of people because they are the owners of the business or they are the, the uh, president of the company or high-ranking officials. But uh, in the BCBP, you would see them serving the others even uh, fixing the chairs or serving coffee to participants. And uh, and you would not see them in their offices like that. No? They are the ones being served. But when they are in the community, they are the ones uh, serving. So that kind of uh, gives an impression, especially uh, for someone who's not yet, you know, just feeling their way around. If they can see those examples, uh, those are very uh, powerful statements. You don't have to say it, but ganun yung alam, di ba? Ganun yung impact. And of course, uh, we have also the, we serve also in the communities that we have, we are. So, pwede kang nagsaserve sa church in any way that you can help, no? Uh, so, uh, because you belong to a community, so that's what you do also. You, know? you try to serve in the community, in any way, in what capacity, and whatever you can do. Aside from your service of BCB. Kasi tayo, very specific, very clear ang ating charism, which is uh, to be an influence in the marketplace and winning the marketplace for Christ. Okay, so one thing that gives us strength is, uh, of course, uh, regular, uh, uh, to be regular in the in, in participation in the sacraments. Uh, especially before, for in, uh, when I saw my parents when they were growing, araw-araw nagsisimba, parang ang pasusobra na sa langit ko mga ito. <laughs> parang, uh, ano ba yung kailangan mong araw-araw? So, di ba? Ano araw-araw? And, uh, lo and behold, after being in the BCD for some times, ganun na rin ako, parang as much as possible, I go to Mass every day. Uh, I either for going to the office or at, at last time. Uh, I, I make it a point that uh, Go to the office. Uh, go to the office and uh, go to go to mass beforehand or during lunch time. Because it depends on traffic. No, kung ano oras kita dapat ito. Maalong na buti kung dapat ito not mass. No, otherwise you do it at lunch time. Kung walang meeting. No? So then you know, it it gives you the strength. No, uh, it gives you the para pagano sa katawan natin kailangan natin ng booster, ng vitamins every day to keep up going. The same with the sacraments. So to be consistent in uh, in uh, doing the uh, our way of life, we need to have that uh, communion with the Lord. It's either taking the commun communion or, <coughs> of course, uh, confession. No? So it gives you that uh, that that uh, parang immune system, or even it it, it bolster your resistance against uh, the challenges or the temptations that you encounter every day. So, going to Mass uh, is like that. No, parang, nagka, ano ba? Nagka, nagka, you fortify yourself uh, with, uh, with the Lord's uh, blessing and sacraments. So, uh, it's also one way, uh, as I said, that uh, you can remain to be consistently uh, faithful to the Lord. Kasi, actually, ang pinaka-greatest challenge, ang iba ko, anong challenge ang hinahanap, ang pinakamagkirt na challenge is to be consistent, be good. Ang hirap magpakabuti, especially in this time. Yan ang mahirap, pinakamagkirt na challenge. Sa nangarap pa rin ba challenge, yun ang challenge na uh, you should face. To be consistently true uh, and good. Yun ang mas mahirap. Kaysa dun sa, kasi ang daling bumigay. Eh. Ang 
madaling bumigay sa mga temptations kasi because of the pressure that gives because of some uh, immediate rewards. But then, uh, as I said, if you want to read the real challenge, the real challenge is to be consistently good. Living a consistently good life. So, community is of course a uh, big help. Uh, there's no low ranger Christian. Kayo yourself here, uh, if you uh, if you uh, you have been uh, you have learned a lot in the in the BCLP, but then if you you have, you have the Holy Spirit is with you, but if you disconnect yourself from the source of the power, then uh, you will lose these things. You will lose you will lose things, and just like in uh, in other things, no? if you have a skill and then you don't use it. Nawawala yun. So, kaya again, di ba? Kasi here, uh, the way that what can maintain uh, a good and consistent uh, to be a uh, Christian life is to be with a community. To be with brothers and sisters to share the same values and vision and mission just like we do. So, you, you band together and uh, work together, struggle together in life. And that's why you have the action group, where you uh, you really support each other. We have the big, big, bigger community, which provides support in everything, not only in prayer life, but of course uh, even in our uh, the way our business we do our business, the way we practice our profession. We we uh, we share each other's struggle, and we find strength in being together. Sharing same values and mission in life. Uh, of course, uh, guided of course by the Holy Spirit and our teachings and our learnings in, in, in such a way that uh, we experience a fullness of life. Some, some, sometimes, sabi nila, eh, kaya marami sometimes na hindi na ayaw mag-join ng community kasi sabi nila, it will change their lives. Parang, parang tingin nila pa na uh, medyo corny yung buhay ng isang uh, Christian, di ba? And parang uh, hindi masaya. But as you would know, here in the BCBP, we have a lot of uh, fun, di ba? Marami tayong, uh, sometimes we have two months of it, no? Maraming fellowship, maraming, you know? It doesn't mean that uh, nandito pa sa community, hindi ka na mag-enjoy, no? Mga, mga tao, kasi ang problem niya, expectation niya pag nag-join ka ng isang uh, Christian community, mga tao na nakasimago. No? Uh, hindi, no? Uh, at least that's why we have to be cheerful, no? Kasi kung makikita nila tayo mga uh, community na lahat ay mga seryoso na uh, hindi humingiti, uh, laging nakakulot mo, ay sino mga ibigatinggan nyo nung mag-join sa PCBP, di ba? So, uh, actually, people need to be happy, no? We are a happy community. We uh, we have these fellowships, we have this bread. That's why in breakfast natin is unique in the BCBP. It should be a fun thing, no? It should not be a very, very gloomy and uh, sober and uh, parang uh, walang, uh, parang, parang mga zombie, no? Hindi naman tayo ganun. So, we are a community, alive, alive, kicking and uh, celebrating the joy of uh, knowing the Lord. And uh, this is the joy that uh, we want you to have. The joy that we have found, uh, of course, we want to share with you. And uh, we share it in this community. So, uh, you have you have your BCLP, of course, uh, that's the beginning of a journey. It's uh, BCDP is a way of life. And uh, we continue to live our life, drawing our source of strength and power and direction from Jesus Christ. And uh, we do that by, of course, uh, as I said, uh, faithful prayer time, study, uh, service, taking the sacraments, and enjoying the community, the, pe the, the community where you belong. And we're happy to have you. Thank you.